Number 21. As we get into this second portion or our latter portion of chapter 11 and the prep problems, realize that we're transitioning into questions about section 3, the stoichiometry of gases. And so everything that we do here, talking about Galois-Sachs law of combining volumes, um, talking about Avogadro's law, we're trying to tie all of that stuff into stoichiometry. So keep that in mind. Number 21, A. In a balanced chemical uh, equation, what is the relationship between the molar ratios and the volume ratios of gaseous reactants and products? So we're asking, so we're being asked what the relationship is. Okay, and so we know of a couple of different relationships in this course. We know of, uh, uh, we know of direct relationships. We know of inverse relationships. Um, is this going to count as one of them? Uh, we're also being asked to talk about the relationship uh, between specifically mole ratios and volume ratios, and then the mole ratios and gas. I'm sorry, mole ratios and volume ratios that we're being asked to talk about are of that of reactants and products, right? So a balanced chemical equation. We're talking about stoichiometry here, and what we find is that they are the same it's even more than direct as long as temperature and pressure are the same remember that was always the prerequisite or the restriction of Galois-Sachs law of combining volumes and Avogadro's law is that temperature and pressure have to be the same the volume ratios will be the same as the mole ratios they're the exact same there is no difference and so we can use them in the same way as we as we did mole ratios back in chapter 9 so b what restriction applies to the use of volume ratios in solving stoichiometry problems? Volume ratios are valid only when the volumes of all the gases being compared are measured under the same temperature and pressure. Okay? Again, they have to be the same temperature and pressure. If there's ever different conditions, we don't get to use those volume ratios in the same way. Also, this only works for gases. So if there is a solid in the equation or if there is a liquid, in the equation, we do not get to use uh, the, the coefficients of that balanced chemical equation in the same way that we do for gases. So it only applies to gases. 